Right, looks like we're live. Hey, so, um, oh, let me pull up this window capture thing real quick. One sec, there we go. Okay, 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 okay. But that's the boring part. Okay, the exciting part is that I've had this package on my desk for like a week, uh, maybe two, maybe more, because it came while I was away for, um, <laughs> what was I even doing lately? I was in Munich for Electronica and uh, in London for some cool things, including interviewing uh, Azhar Hussein about Hanha, which you can find on our videos page. Anyway, uh, I had basically nagged the particle team because I went to their Spectra conference where they released these sweet particle mesh boards. So cool. Apparently we were the first ones to get our hands on these, but unfortunately I haven't had the time to sit down with them and really play around. So uh, I have huge regrets regarding that, but I can't wait to do it. They even sent us a little OLED feather wing that matches the feather, Adafruit feather form factor of these new boards. I've put a link in the description so that you can go check those out. It's particle.io slash mesh. Anyway, these things came out at their conference called Spectra, which was amazing. And uh, I showed off a piece of technology that's not here that uh, is a brainwave controlled particle. Oh, here we go. Uh, oh no! <laughs> <laughs> this is a particle photon uh, to control this light with my brain waves, uh, which is an update to a project that I built with my friend Mohib Zara. We built it originally with an Arduino. I updated it with a photon for Spectra, uh, and you can find probably video. Uh, I'll probably do another demo at some point. Anyway, so I was too busy working on that to get to the conference on time, thus I missed out on the googie bags, and I started pestering them because they had some really cool uh, lapel pins, like really cool ones, and I'm kind of hoping that they might have sent me one or two of those. Wait, what? This is a different thing. I'm really confused. It's a headlamp? They sent me a headlamp. That's so weird. Maybe this uh, note reveals all. Oh, this is a mystery now. I love this. Why have I got a headlamp? Joe, what are you doing? Is this so I can turn it on with my brain? I think it might be. That would be so cool. Oh my god. Whoa! Oh no! <laughs> oh, I got a sweet vinyl decal! Check this out. Um, if you're not familiar with vinyl decals, the way that these work is that uh, you basically use a vinyl cutter to cut out the design. It's like a pen plotter, but with a knife instead. Uh, and then you put this sticky contact paper on the top uh, and use that to lift it off of the sticky vinyl backing. Um, and then you're able to, basically, it keeps the whole design as one, even if you have these little islands or disconnected pieces, and you can stick it to wherever, and it looks amazing. So now I have to figure out, see, this is, our sticker wall is white, so I can't put it there. All right, maybe it goes on my computer. Anyway, what does this say? Thank you so much for presenting it, Spectra. Da, 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 da. Please accept this lightning-powered headlamp as a token of my immense gratitude. <laughs> <laughs> that is wonderful. Thank you, Joe. Uh, I think I might have to, uh, you know. So here's another another thing. Um, so it's December, right? Time of uh, of ugly sweater contests. And in the past, what I've done. Let me just show you my plan, okay? Give me a sec. Okay, so. <laughs> so, in past years, I decided, like, what's the ugliest thing, really? It's not like a physical aesthetic design. Ugly is a state of mind and that state of mind is bored. Because we as makers like don't ever want to be bored. And if you're if you're bored all the time, it probably means 
I mean, I don't want to cast judgment here, but like, if you fill your life with things that excite you and like keep enriching your brain and stuff, um, you know, even if you have a boring job, maybe you can listen to audiobooks and stuff. Uh, and find a way to make it not boring. Like, find things to to occupy your mind with, you know? Memorize poetry or whatever. Um, there's all kinds of stuff you can do to keep from being bored. And so I think that the concept of being bored is, like, one of the most fearsome things to me. Uh, and so I made this into, like, a, a... Plus, it's a really ugly sweater, right? It's an ugly sweater. Let's just give it that. Uh, I made this into a thing where you had to, like, poke it over Wi-Fi, or else it would start blinking these these... Um, red lights are on the board sign. And I did that with an Arduino Micro 1000. Well, I always wanted to actually make it brainwave responsive so that when your attention goes down and you're like obviously not focusing on what the person is saying anymore or what you're doing or whatever, uh, then it would light up the lights and show that you were bored at that instance in time. However, Wearable technology has come a ways since then, and we now have hats that say The Boring Company on them. Uh, so I think that what I need to do this year is A, upgrade The Boring Sweater to, to B, its original intended concept, which is, you know, um, brainwave-powered board machine, which I can do with the same tech as I used for the Thinker Blinker, a Muse headset, and a particle photon or something like, or one of these guys. Uh, and then also, oh, I could have it talk over a mesh to the hat. It could be a whole boring outfit. Oh man. So uh, that's probably what I'm gonna do with this. And you know, I could go the same route with like little LEDs and stuff, but I could also stick a headlamp on there instead. Like that could be. Let me just beast through the back of this package instead of going about it the right way, whatever that is. <laughs> what is this? Oh, it's a solar thingy! Oh, you can charge it with a solar panel, it's amazing! You know what, this is actually a great thing in and of itself. Although there's probably like a, a charging circuit, ooh, hi! Probably a charging circuit inside of this thing that like takes that input and, oh, you know what, this might actually be more fun to hack as, uh, turning something else into a solar-powered thingy. So I could have the, the, the whole thing be solar-powered! Like, what's the voltage on this thing? Okay, it's got clearly a rechargeable battery, so it's got to be probably 3.7 volts. Uh, let's try and take this apart. What is it, 502? I got a while before I got to do anything. I already published a couple other videos today. Let's take this apart! <laughs> Plus, Tomorrow is Teardown Tuesday, and since I'm going to be at the Risk Five conference, we can just pretend that this is like an early Tuesday, okay? Okay, this is what we're doing. <laughs> I'm so excited. Uh, I get to do so many fun things when I'm like ahead of schedule. <laughs> you would not, you do not want to know how much time I spent on like email today. This is like my little gift to myself. Also, video editing. Video editing takes forever, and I. How? What? Why does it have screws if you... Oh. Um, yeah, I have actual grip strengtheners just to keep myself not screaming while I do video editing. I mean, my job is super awesome and fun all the time, and you should totally do it. <laughs> do, 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 do. Can, is this like a tab thing that sort of pries out? Like, is that how it works? Oh no, it seems to come this way apart. What? Wait, how are you? Yeah, it looks like it's a tab that snaps in from the side, and yet... It's like some kind of a beefy tab. Huh. Um, oh, maybe the tabs are those. Maybe if I pull this out enough, I can like slide it off. Ugh, no. <laughs> oh, look. Oh, huh. Can I, like, force both of those out at the same time? But I'd have to force all four of them out at the same time. What's the deal here? <laughs> when in doubt, like, stab it with the wire clipper. This is, like, the sturdiest sort of pushing and prying tool that I have, so... Huh. Hmm. 
I also would have assumed that like these would twist off. Like when you have a battery powered uh, headlamp, often like something like this means that you twist off the ends, but obviously, you know, it looks like that at the same, that might just be for grip. And uh, also, even if it looks like that, it's got this, so that almost certainly does not twist off. Her, there's no visible screws there. Joe, what have you done? <laughs> I'm gonna be obsessing about this now. Uh, hmm. Hmm. <laughs> oh, come on. I can see the tabs in there. They're lifting out. But which way does it go when the tabs lift out? It might just be. Why does it have the screws? You can't get this apart thing. Anyway. Uh, that looks like, it, like the screws must be, con wait, there's, I don't see any screws holding the thing together under here either. Like the main gray cylinder there doesn't seem to have any clear attachment points, unless maybe they're under this green thing, which also makes sense. <laughs> Nothing there. Hmm. I don't want to take it, I don't want to like destroy this because then I would not be able to get this strap on, which is so convenient. Hmm. I feel like I just need more finger strength to pull this apart. I'm probably gonna snap it actually, honestly. All that time with the grip strengtheners, you know. How am I supposed to... Uh, I'm gonna check the comments and see if any of you have been like, just do this thing and it'll come right apart. Counting on you, folks. Uh, we have someone from Texas, it looks like. That's cool. Um, need a little more help. Uh, whatever. Anyway, you don't want to watch me just, like, trying to manhandle this thing open for the next, like, 15 minutes. So I'm gonna spare you. Uh, but now you know my plans for <laughs> Ugly Sweater uh, Month, and I have some sweet new tools with which to do it. Yeah, I think, so this one, this one hooks it up to the internet. Um, it's Wi-Fi plus mesh plus Bluetooth. This one is mesh plus Bluetooth, and then the uh, Boron is cellular plus mesh plus Bluetooth. Um, so, what I'll probably do is have these two talk to each other, put this one on the hat, since it's less bulky, have this one on the sweater, and they can at least talk to each other, if not also to the internet, so that's going to be great. And I can also, like, program it from the online build uh, environment. Super cool! Uh, okay, thanks for watching our Mailbag Monday and <laughs> extremely short Teardown Tuesday uh, to be continued. We'll be back soon. Uh, tune in tomorrow. Uh, I probably won't have a live video, but I will ha be posting stuff from the Risk Five conference down in Santa Clara. And also the rest of this week, we're gonna have more of those Arm TechCon uh, Arm Innovator interviews. We've got one up right now with Kwabana Ajman. Check it out. Oh, I don't have it up. <laughs> <laughs> That's because I've been trying to uh, upload some stuff and they're having some troubles. But it's on YouTube. If you go to uh, Hackster.io on YouTube, you'll see Quabina, uh and also the following ones. I think the next one is going to be Laurent Inti from Je Vois. Uh, Quabina is the creator of OpenMV. They wrapped a Kickstarter for their new uh, OpenMV M7 camera uh, just recently. And he has some really cool insights on, you know, what he did differently and how the Kickstarter game has changed. I wasn't aware. I thought it was all still about having an amazing video. It turns out now it's all about GIFs and other other schmancy marketing stuff. So uh, learn from that. He totally did a lot of great... Um, did his job creating, obviously, the wildly successful Kickstarter and uh, passes on his knowledge to you, which I think is immensely valuable. Um, go check out particle.io slash mesh for the new boards. You can get the mesh Wi-Fi bundle, etc, etc, etc. The Xenon is the most basic little guy, and then you usually want one uh, or more of the argon or boron to sort of push the data from the mesh uh, up to the internet. And then, uh, yeah. Oh, I also wanted to say, uh, this is not in my mailbag, but uh, 
Carl, I believe it is Bugea, I could be wrong, has uh, been working on these PCB actuators, which basically you put, oh, you put voltage through this coil, right? It's a copper coil, which means that it becomes an electromagnet when you run power through it. Um, and so you hook this up to your whatever uh, robot, for example, uh, and then you put a magnet sort of opposite it, and when you turn on and off the current going through the coil, that means that it is attracted or repelled, uh, attracted to the magnet or not attracted, uh, and then you're able to make motion happen in an incredibly small form factor. Let's just look it up. He's been posting stuff on his Instagram. Come on, load. Like, super, super cool stuff. Check out this little wiggly robot. Look at it wiggle. So he's got a 3D printed... Look at it bounce! That's just with one of them! Well, a 3D printed frame, a magnet in the little holder, and then these two thin wires going to the PCB actuator. And all it's doing is switching on and off the current. It's incredible. Look at this. Look at this. And now you can buy it for yourself on Tindy for seven bucks. Just get four of them and you'll have like, for under $30, you will have four tiny little actuators for your own little quad bot thingy. Oh, I'm so excited to see what more stuff comes out of this. I can't wait. Um, Carl, you're doing really cool stuff. Everyone else, go check out Carl. He's doing really cool stuff. Here's like a, a more sort of slowed down view of it. Yeah, uh, that is our super chilled out Mailbag Monday and sort of tear down Tuesday and sort of fundum Friday all in one. <laughs> it's like three for the pro. Okay. Good night. We'll see you soon. Bye.